Bar none, the new feeder is uh, the smoothest feeder I've ever ran. They have a little bit bigger motor in them so they don't get hot, you know, throughout the day the, the weather gets hotter and, and the motor gets hot in the feeder and next thing you know you're over there tinkering with it. Uh, the new 12VS by Miller is uh, very constant and it don't change around. It, wherever, you, wherever you put it in the morning, it's there at the end of the day. As far as the wire feed goes, that's probably the most important thing because if your wire feed's inconsistent, you'll get, you'll get bumps on your welds and you'll be able to tell right away. But if your wire feeder's running good and feeds the wire smooth and consistent, your day is, you have a good day. If your wire feeder is not smooth and consistent, you will be an angry welder. The reason why this feeder is really easy to put the wire in is because the door falls downward and you don't have to lay it over on its side. You just undo the nut, pull the spool out, reload it, run it through, you're ready to go. If you want to throw a gas gun on here, you know, and run a, 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 a dual shield wire, um, I just throw the gun on, load the wire in, change my drive rolls, and I'm off running again. I also like the digital readout because um, it's really easy to keep track of what you're doing. They're, they're really built bulletproof. I mean, I have actually dropped one of these off of the back of my truck, left it on my bumper, fell off the back of my truck, seen it in my mirror, turned around, went and picked it up, used it the next day, and I, no problems, just scratches. So the consistent wire feed is what we've been looking for and Miller has it.